New year, new you, you, me, you know, new me. We're doing uh, a type of video I don't think we've done on the channel before. Uh, and uh, it's a little bit of uh, things I want to continue this year, things uh, I'm going to try and change. And so for this video today, my name is Russ. This is the Infectious Groove Music Channel here on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to share with you my five new New Year music resolutions. So some of this is going to apply to the channel, uh, but it's music resolutions in general for me and the way I want to try and uh, do things a little differently in 2024. Uh, one thing that I want to keep doing that I feel like I've done a great job on over this past year, I kind of told you all about on, on the channel as things were progressing. Uh, I want to continue to show self-control where as vinyl is concerned. Uh, and uh, my wife, who you normally see on this channel, knows that I have said to her recently regarding artists that I love, okay, but I don't need that album, uh, which is a phrase I've never said in my entire life before. Um, but I think it's good. I think uh, one artist that springs to mind is uh, Prince. You know, the guy released 40 some records uh, during his lifetime, and I love many of them. Uh, but prior, when I had my old vinyl collection, uh, I would buy every single thing they released with Prince's name on it just to buy it, just to go, oh, I own that. Uh, and an example I was giving uh, Lauren was uh, Emancipation from Prince. It's a three hour record over six LPs that I absolutely love. And I would listen to parts of it on streaming here and again, but I would never buy that album again uh, because I'm not going to sit around and listen to six LPs in a row of the same era of Prince. Uh, so trying to uh, continue to show more self-control with uh, uh, rebuilding a vinyl collection uh, is definitely the first thing I want to do. Next thing I want to do after that is uh, continue to try to delve into jazz more. Uh, jazz has always been one of my weak spots. Uh, there are very few genres, and you wouldn't know what they are because I we try and never talk negatively on the channel. But there are a few genres that uh, I don't like at all in music, uh, but jazz is not one of them. Uh, I like a lot of different jazz that I've heard. I just don't know enough about the insane amount of diverse artists and styles of jazz to really, you know, and it's, and it's an expensive, uh, genre to get into if you're going to, especially on vinyl. Uh, so I want to start using more resources that are available to kind of educate myself better, uh, on jazz and get into, uh, more of that. Lauren is one of them. She knows a lot more about jazz than I do. Uh, and certainly here on YouTube, I'm certain I can, uh, use YouTube as a tool to learn more about that. Or if you, uh, a viewer of the channel know a lot about jazz, and you want to give me a hand with it, uh, by all means, drop a comment. Uh, the next thing that I want to do, th th these kind of two things together, um, but I'll list them out separately. One is I want to start getting back to smaller concerts. Uh, I have seen, I've been fortunate enough to see every, but whatever big name you can think of right now, honestly, because I grew up in Detroit, I've probably seen them in concert anywhere between five and 20 times. Uh, I've seen everyone I've ever wanted to see, uh, many artists who have passed away. Uh, and now, you know, insert rant here about ticket pricing if you're going to see an established artist it's just outrageous and i've already seen all those cats uh i really like seeing artists on the come up uh i have seen some some artists who've gone on to be enormous uh in in, in a club environment and i'd like to get back to that this year and uh the secondary point to that kind of a supporting of that is i'd like to get back into finding more uh newer artists um I don't like when people sit around and complain and say, oh, there's no good new country music. Oh, there's no good rap music. Oh, there's no new rock music. There is. It's all out there. Uh, you just have to actively seek it out. You can't sit around and take what's uh, served up to you by the mass media or by the streaming services. So uh, I think getting back to smaller shows, uh, talking to more music lovers, uh, having those conversations, I think is going to help me uh, start seeking out newer, uh, newer artists again. Uh, the last thing I'm going to continue to do is big. This is a big resolution for me is uh, we're always trying to improve the channel here. Uh, I want to continue to ramp up production throughout 2024. Um, I think a lot of you would agree that Lauren's been an, a fantastic addition to the channel. I don't think we're going to add any other on air personalities to the channel, uh, but our current state right now where we have a vinyl or review video every week and then these five uh, type videos and, and the reactions. Uh, I think that's all great, but I don't want to uh, become um, static in that. I would like for us to evolve. Uh, and that's where the viewers come in to a certain extent, too. If there's something you'd like to see from us on the channel um, or, or if you'd like to know some of the ideas we have, uh, we'd be happy to bounce them off you. Uh, just hit us up in the comment section below and we'll be more than happy to share with you what some of our plans are. <clears throat> 
So that is what I am looking to do going forward here in uh, 2024. Please, by all means, drop some comments and let me know what are some of your resolutions or what do you think about you know my ambitions for the year? But more importantly, uh, what are some of yours? Do you have share some of the same uh, ones that I do? Uh, and what are you looking to get out of 2024 and how are you going to go about accomplishing that uh, music wise? Uh, again, my name is Russ. This is the Infectious Groove Music Channel. If this is your first time here, hit the uh, like button because that helps us out a lot. And certainly leave a comment because we like that more than anything. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.